Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content, and joining me now to discuss how OpenSync can enable service providers to pursue a more environmentally friendly strategy is Niall Robinson, who is Head of OpenSync Partnerships at Plume Design. Niall, very good to see you again. Now, given the challenging situation caused by silicon shortages, is it time that service providers consider more environmentally conscious hardware strategies? Yes, absolutely. I think uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a silver lining, I suppose, to the, uh, to the issue that a lot of service providers are facing with the silicon shortages that, that are out there. Um, basically, they're being forced to consider how to continue to you know, delight their customers with new services with the existing hardware that uh, they have out there deployed in those customer homes. Um, it's something that really uh, effectively means you've got to really separate the services that you're delivering to those customers from the hardware that they have in their homes uh, so that you can continue to offer new services, um, continue, as I said, to delight those customers with those new services, uh, but without asking them to uh, change the device uh, that they have in in the home. Um, we we use a software architecture here at Plume that allows those customers to do that, um, and and part of that software architecture is OpenSync. Um, OpenSync is um, the fastest growing. Uh, it's open source silicon to cloud framework for that smart home um, and the uh, and the smart business. Um, and yes, that that's really enabling kind of a two for one, if you like, for the customer service providers. Um, they don't have to uh, worry too much about the silicon shortage because they can get those services out there, and at the same time, has some significant environmental benefits for them. Thanks, Niall. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more then about OpenSync? So, so OpenSync grew out of something called Plume Middle Layer. Um, it's something that Plume had been working on for quite some time. Uh, as we built our cloud architecture for delivering those smart services, um, and we decided to open source the code in 2018. Um, and as I mentioned before, it's now um, become the fastest growing open source software for the smart homes. Um, you can deliver new services to customers, to the end users, to whether it's a business or a residential customer. Um, rapidly, very rapidly from the cloud, right, without needing that hardware upgrade. Um, we've been working very hard with a lot of industry associations out there and, and other groups. Uh, it has a lot of support um, with groups such as RDK, um, the Telecom Infra Project, uh, silicon providers like Broadcom, Qualcomm, and many, many ODMs um, who have all integrated OpenSync into their devices. Uh, the software itself is now live in, I believe, over 35 million homes. Um, and it's actually helping um, over 1.2 billion client devices um, live a better Wi-Fi life, as, as I like to put it, um, giving them uh, excellent connectivity and uh, keeping those uh, customers happy and safe and secure. Great. Well, that's, that's what we all want to hear. Uh, now, can you tell us specifically, though, how can OpenSync enable service providers to pursue this more environmentally conscious strategy? Yeah. So, so if you're able to, you know, upcycle that CPE, right? So it was deployed maybe uh, two, three years ago. Um, the uh, that piece of equipment in the customer home or the small business. If you can upcycle it and deliver services on that device that it wasn't intended to, to, to support when it was first uh, shipped out to the customer, um, then you don't have to have that device um, you know, taken out of the customer home um, you know, and, and basically you know, recycled or thrown away. Um, you also don't have to have um, engineers doing any kind of an upgrade in the field. Um, so you end up with extending the lifetime of that hardware um, extending the lifetime of all of the technology that's inside that uh, inside that machine, uh, the expensive chips, uh, the expensive uh, metals that are all inside there. You're going to reduce um, scrap, basically. You're reducing landfill uh, by extending the lifetime of that of, uh, of that device. Um, we have a have a an excellent customer example 
uh, that I like to use. Um, a large customer of ours in Europe, Liberty Global, um, launched with Plume um, a couple of years ago. And they're now um, operating millions of homes with their customers, um, delivering services from the cloud. Uh, and they didn't have to change a single device. Um, so, and that was OpenSync working across multiple different ODMs, uh, multiple different chipsets inside there, all delivering the same services. So that 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 um, target, that goal I said at the start for what you want for separating services from hardware is exactly what Liberty Global did. Um, and they've extended the lifetime of all of those millions of uh, CPEs that they've actually uh, deployed over the years. Um, massively reducing you know their impact on on hardware churn if you like over the lifetime of that equipment so to conclude how can the cloud assist in creating a green network um so i mean uh, people often associate you know the cloud with uh you know um, ai or, or machine learning and and we use that very heavily uh, the cloud is learning from those you know million tens of millions of homes that uh, that we manage uh, continually learning how to um, build a better Wi-Fi network, how to manage new devices that come into the network. Um, and what we've seen um, is a, a dramatic reduction in things like truck rolls, um, having to go send a technician or an engineer out to support a customer's uh, uh, issue. Um, in studies that we've done with some of our largest customers, we've seen truck rolls reduced by two-thirds, uh, which uh, has a massive environmental impact if you're not sending um, people and, and, and trucks out there um, to support that customer um, issue. Uh, we've also seen um, a, a, a big improvement in uh, just resolving customer issues in the first place. Um, so all of those sort of feed into uh, the, the ability for the cloud to really reduce that environmental impact um, simply by keeping the machine running um, at its optimum point, using that AI and machine learning technology uh, to deliver, you know, that, that excellent customer service. Now, good talking with you. Absolutely fascinating. Thanks for joining us on the program today. Thank you.